Welcome to the second day of DS 2025. I have the most interesting guest with me today, and his name is Raul John. And I don't want to introduce him much because as soon as you look at him, you'll realize how big of a deal it is to have him on stage with us. So thank you so much, Raul, too, for coming to DS. Yes, thank you for calling me. Hi. Yeah. So what do you do exactly? Can you let the audience know and how did you get into it? Well, I am an AI influencer. I make AI apps, AI softwares. I talk about AI. I educate people AI around the world. I'm an AI consultant for a lot of companies and stuff. Okay. So I'm also a video editor and a lot of other stuff. So. <laughs> so you're still in school though, right? Yes. So how do you manage everything between school and teaching AI. people about AI? <laughs> <laughs> well, in short, I try to use it. For example, the PPT I presented here today was yeah. made with the help of AI. Okay. So I, even creating videos, the scripts are made with the help of AI. I try to integrate AI wherever possible. So it makes my life much easier and easier to manage everything even. So that's one of the things I use AI So for. do you use AI for cheating in exams? Don't ask me that. I think my teachers <laughs> will be watching. But uh, for studying, yes. I can say that right now. <laughs> How did it help you? Can Do you so, think other kids can also learn from this? Yeah, sure. There is an AI known as Study Fetch that converts your PDF or textbooks yeah. into games. Oh. Or there is Notebook LM. I listen to it. It converts notebook your whole LM. PDF and all into podcast. I even use ChatGPT. It quizzes me on stuff. So overall, I use a lot of AIs, including Google's AI Studio oh, nice. that looks at my screen, teaches me each topic. At looking at the screen, it's like this is biology. So unlike you know my teachers, I can't ask teacher what is this? What is this? Yeah. I can't ask again and again. But this AI, I can irritate. Do you think we even need teachers now in school? Well, sadly, I can't say anything, but yes, we do. Reason is they can be the ones who are giving us individual support rather than, you know, personalized. Pers like everyone, AI can take care of. Like the normal teachers, correction, correcting papers, AI can do it. But individual, personalized support, that, that AI can't do. Teachers can. So have you, how does it feel like when you're in your uh, classroom, you have your friends, you have your other students, is there any different treatment? Do they even realize what you're doing at this age right now? No. <laughs> They're like two corner types. We're just like friends and all. I bring them to for a few moments. They're like, oh, you're someone. Like when I go to a mall or something, someone comes, takes a picture with me. They're like, you know who he is? He's like a normal kid types. Yeah. Like, yeah. So it's like, yeah, okay, types. Yeah. It's like my friend. That's it. Yeah. So you were also telling earlier that your father wanted you to be a footballer. <laughs> Can you tell the story about that? So when I was born, Raul Gonzalez, the footballer, did three goals. Yeah. And I, uh, and my parents were like, he's the next one. This is a sign. He's the next footballer. Yeah. But I went the totally opposite route to technology. But yeah, I, my parents always wanted me to be a footballer. But they always encouraged me to do something more yeah. in technology, in those kind of stuff too. So. Okay. So I think we were talking earlier about how you should build AI agents. Correct, correct. From playing football. Do you think that is possible? Or do you want to do that? Maybe. I think my parents will be proud. They're like, normal, normal, you can't play football, you make an AI agent, perfect. We just want someone playing a football. So yeah. maybe they'll be happy. And it is possible. Like I use AI agents everywhere right now. Yeah. So it's totally possible. So I, your talk was very interesting. It was different from everyone who came here. Everyone Thank was talking about data pipelines and everything. You came with a cause about climate change and how we can solve that. Can you expand that and a on that a little bit for the larger audience? Correct. So what I talked about is a little different. Yes, I talked about rag. I talked about all this, you know, flow chat and stuff, the boring stuff. But <laughs> <laughs> I also wanted an impact to be left. That is why I talked about the real problem. Yes, there are problems in the sensitive domains. There are problems in policing and yeah. all where AI is used. But there is a good side to it too. And here is how we can fix these issues. I wanted to not just see the problem, but give a solution to. That's why even in the end, I talked about this climate change. That's yeah. the real issue. Not AI will take a job, right? Yeah. So that is why I covered everything A to B, but also talked about the real issue. So AI yeah, will not take my job. No, don't worry. Unless you stop using AI. So, so you have to use AI. So should I learn coding at this point to be relevant in the future? Well, see, I'm a vibe coder. I use cursor. I use replit. I use bolt. I use a lot of stuff. I use this, uh, the new one from Whisper. Yeah. So I, I use a lot. I even use Lovable, Zero One. Mainly I use bolt. I created my portfolio website. That's yeah. on my Instagram with bolt. And for Nyayasati and stuff, I use cursor. So I have used Cursor and Bolt and a lot. 
so i am a vibe coder i don't know that much about coding but because of this stuff i was able to and i'm trying my best to learn coding because that will obviously improve a lot of logical skills and it is needed because yeah. people imagine like in vibe coding the problems are ai will code stuff but what if we know coding will be an easier way to implement that right yeah. so we need to know coding at least now so are you learning that in school or college and how are you learning coding on my own so, so is school even necessary to <laughs> well i mean <laughs> yeah sadly it is <laughs> i would see one of the main reasons i like school is that it helps me socialize it helps me be with my friends i can you know go out to nine hours of my day i'm out because of school right but yes i am learning stuff there i am having fun in my childhood too it's not like i'm not but yes that is there but i'm also managing this stuff so school is needed for socialization and learning basic info because not every kid will find what they like at an early age right yeah. they will need to go through different passions so until then they would all need to know the basics of how this world works and for that school is needed so do you think there should be a change in the curriculum that is there right now in schools for sure like education as a whole needs to be changed because it was bought out as a thing you know to build frac factory workers not thinkers or critical thinkers right so we need people who question stuff yeah. no don't teachers shouldn't say don't ask question luckily my teachers are not like that yeah but we need critical thinkers people who ask questions learn stuff you know are crazy about it debate and do skits and all those kind of stuff have fun not just in the class listening to teachers like everyone will be bored right sitting 10 days of that day everyone will be bored listening to them yeah okay same syllabus no it will be boring yeah. right so that syllabus needs to be seen. ai needs to be integrated in that yeah. just like calculators came into this yeah. syllabus right after 10th after learning basic maths calculator came and people started using calculator that got in our syllabus just like that ai should be there first people yeah. should teach about how to write essay and all then they should teach how to use ai to write essay and right all. now they teach about how to use paint correct MS correct yeah. paint ms and yeah it's like basic stuff that i won't even use yeah makes sense so do you think uh, students in schools are learning enough like can they learn enough from youtube right now like how you learned yeah actually if they are if you have if the will is there the way is there right if you have the passion for something you will obviously do it and i really wanted to learn more and more about ai that's the reason i did it right yeah. so yes anything you can learn from youtube but it's just that it's in a jumbled order so you don't know correct what to learn next right okay. that's one problem so yes you might need to go for a course and there is kind of a limit to what is like there is a limit to where till where you can learn but some things are not there but mostly everything is there you can don't use it as an excuse yes because you can start with all this stuff yeah but there's an other side of this coin as well right people say ki using a lot of ai makes you dumber <laughs> do you think that is true well i can't be a good judge of it because <laughs> i use ai a lot but see what i feel is that you have to use ai unless you use ai someone else will replace you now about being dumber that's why i said till an age let's say 10th grade you will need to know how to write your own essay you will need to know how to use your brain after that just like calculators are there for maths ai should be taught how to do the same essays but easier so it's like oh i took one week for this but ai is simpler right so ai should not be banned ai should yeah. be used there so that's how it should be done so it, you should think on your own you should know how to think on your own then use ai you should totally rely on it but you should know how yeah makes sense so the last question that i want to ask you is uh you we are using all these tools and everyone is using it yeah so do you think in the future there will be more ai agents doing work than humans in the workforce and people will just be chilling well here's what i feel when first computers came everyone said the typewriters and all those kind of stuff right but when internet came we didn't need, know that there would be a tool necessary for searching the internet like yeah, google right yeah. so after ai comes we would need other tools we are humans at the end of the day yeah. we have to do something we can't just yeah. sit simply so we will find other stuff for sure but you created your own bot as well right yeah, what yeah. does that do so uh, i have three four bots in my company nyay sathi justies yeah. and investor so nyay sathi and justice are basically law tools for the common people because common people like they don't know the laws right so for them to know all the laws and all they can use this they they can use this for example they are stuck in an emergency situation this ai will tell you what to do or nyay sathi will tell you what to do based on the laws in that emergency situation yeah so i think yeah. even open ai right now start focusing on becoming a doctor making chat gpt correct doctor, correct for so. each version yeah maybe i'm yeah. not trying to be a competitor to yeah. them because yeah. uh, let's say 
see, uh, they are not even, we have to figure out a way to be more accurate. And what I found is that those AI tools, even OpenAI, I'm, I'm not sure, but most of them hallucinate a lot. And yeah. this is one we figured out that doesn't hallucinate. Oh, that's nice. Yes. But we were talking earlier and you said you want to build an OpenAI in India. Correct. So, <laughs> see, my, that's why this month I'm going to meet the AI minister in Dubai. My main aim is, see, obviously, US has ChatGPT, China has DeepSeek. And India has a lot of population, but nothing, right? So India, someone needs to build something. That's why I thought, why not take this out and yeah. just ease EASC? And we are starting to start from Dubai because AI is being, you know, a lot. Uh, a, they are supporting AI a lot. So yeah. that's why we are planning to start from there and kind of make a name from India. Okay. So before I let you go, I just want to repeat one question that a member from the audience asked you. I think that is something people want to ask is how the work-life balance part. I mean, <laughs> at the age of 16, you're doing this. And so people would be questioning, how do you get time to do all the child stuff that people do? Like you were a big fan of Doraemon. Yeah. And that died down. So how is that going to go on forward for other people as well? How do you balance that? What advice would you give? What I do, see, I play games. I'm really a Marvel nerd. I watch all Marvel movies, including the Thunderbolts and all <laughs> yeah. stuff. I, I... I'm like up to date in everything, right? Yeah. I, I, it's not like I'm fully into it, but I have fun doing this. Yeah. That's the main thing. And I use the AI a lot. It helps me manage, like I said, the PPTs and stuff like that. It helps me manage my life more. I'm not saying my life is fully managed or balanced. It yeah. is not. But what helps me at least do it a bit is this AI stuff. And yes, my father and all is the CEO of my company. So he does all the boring work so I can do do what I like. Yeah. So, yeah. yeah so uh, thank you so much, Rahul. And I... I Thank really you. want to say to the people who call you an AI kid that you're not an AI kid. You're actually an AI human. <laughs> and keep doing what you're doing and, Thank you. and keep coming to AIM as well. Thank you. Thank you for so much sure. for coming here. Thank you. Thank you.